In this video, we're going to talk about bit masking. I found a lot of students confusing about bit masking. I see a lot of people who started learning C programming, they're confused about mask. What is a mask? If you watch this video till the end, you will understood everything about bit masking. A mask defined which bits you want to keep and which bits you want to clear. Simply, mask is a value and that value we will apply to a value using bitwise operator to do something. Masking is the act of applying a mask to a value. Don't worry about it. This is the formal definition of mask. We can apply a mask to a value to do something. We can do bit masking using bitwise operator. If we use bitwise and operator, then we can do then we can extract a subset of bits in a value. If we use bitwise or operator, then we can set a subset of bits in a value. Then if we do masking using bitwise XOR operator, then we can toggle a subset of bits in a value. This is the concept of bit masking. Mask is a value and that value we will use to do something in another value using bitwise operator. If you don't understand, now let's see how we can get a value from a binary number. Now let's see how we can find a specific bits value from a binary number. Now let's talk about get a bit. Let's say you are asked to find out the third bit from the right of 12. If we convert this number 12 into binary, then we get this binary equivalent. Here we have 32 bits because integer takes all ages 32 bits. And here we see the third bit from the right is this one. And we have to find out the value of this bit. Then how we can find it? First, we're going to declare a mask. Let's say in this case, our mask is one. And this is the representation of one in binary. Now what we can do to find out what we have at this position. That means what we have at third bit of 12. For that, first, we're going to move this one to left. And we're going to move this one to this position. So let's move one to this position using left shift operator. If we do left shift 2 to 1, then we see this one is moved to this position. Now, if we do bitwise and operation between 12 and this binary, then what we will get? We will get this binary, okay? And this binary is equivalent to 4. If we found the result of this is not 0, that means at that bit we have a value 1. If we have here 0, then this will be evaluated zero. And this is how we can get a specific bit from a integer. And this is how we can find out a specific bit value using AND operator and left shift operator. Now let's see the code to find out a specific bit. This is the code to find out a specific bit from a number. And the output of this code is one. I think you can't see this code clearly. Now let's see, this is the code. First we have this integer 12 and in this integer, we're going to find out the third bit value. Then we have this mask. This is a value and this mask will apply to this integer using a bitwise operator and the concept is called bit masking. And to move the one to a specified position, we have to use the fall off to move the bit, okay? And we can use this left shift operator to move the bit. And right after this for loop, we get the bit right here. Then if we perform bitwise n in between this two binary number, then we get this binary number. And we see that if we perform bitwise and operation in between a and mask, then we get 4. 4 is not 0. So this if condition is true and it will print 1. So at the position, we see that we have the bit 1. If here we have 0, then this will be evaluated 0 and this will this if statement will be evaluated 0. So this will not print 1. In that case, it will print 0. And for this input, the output is 1. This is how we can get a specific bit value using bit masking. Now let's take another example to understand it even better. In this time, we're going to find out the fifth bit from the right of 12. The fifth bit we see we have 0. And then we're moving the one, the bit one to this corresponding position. And then if we do bitwise and operation, then we get zero. If we get zero, this if condition evaluated false, then it will print zero. 
and we see that at this position we have the bit zero and this is how we can get a bit from a binary number and this is the concept of bit masking we're using this mask and we're applying this mask to this integer to find out a specific bit value now let's see how we can set a bit to one and zero now we're going to set fourth bit to zero of 12 from right if you convert 12 into binary then we get this binary equivalent this is the fourth bit and our goal is to set this bit to zero how you can do that for that first i'm going to declare a mask let's say this is our mask one if you convert this into binary this is our binary representation of one then we're going to move this one to this corresponding position where we want to set the bit to zero here we're going to move this one to do that we can left shift three this one then this one will move to this position now our one is at this corresponding position where we have to set the bit to one now we're going to find out the ones complement of this the ones complement of this binary number is this number okay it changes one to zero and zero to one if we do bitwise and operation in between these two binary number then we get this binary number and we see that this bit is zero and we updated the fourth bit to zero of 12 and this is how we can update a specific bit to zero and this number is equivalent to four hope you have understood this concept now let's see the code this is the code we have this integer 12 and this is our mask and we're left shifting the mask by three bits then we get our bit one to the corresponding position where we have to set the bit to zero and here we are performing the bitwise node operation or once complement operation then we get this binary equivalent and then if we perform bitwise add operation in between these two binary number then we get this binary number and this is how we can update a specific bits to zero hope you have understood this concept and this concept is called bit masking we're updating a specific bit we have this mask and we're applying this mask to this value 12 by left shifting this mask by three bits where you need to set a bit to zero and this is the process that is called bit masking hope you have understood bit masking now let's take another example to understand it even better and the output of this code is 4. Now we're going to set the fifth bit of 12 from right to 1. If we convert 12 into binary, then this is our binary representation. Then this is our mask. And the binary representation of 1 is this binary number. Then we're going to left shift the mask by 4 bit to move bit to its corresponding position where we have to update the bit in this number 12. Then if we left shift, we get our bit 1 right here and we have to update this value now how we can update that it's pretty simple if we perform bitwise or operation in between 12 and this binary number then we see this bit is now one and this is how we can set a bit to one hope you guys understood this problem and if you convert this binary number into decimal then we get 28. now let's see the code how to implement this solution all right this is the code we have this integer then we have this mask and we're left shifting the mask and then we're then we're applying this mask to this value 12 right here and by this bit masking we get this binary equivalent and that's equivalent to 28 so this program will print 28 this is how we can set a bit to one hope you guys have understood the concept of bit masking this is called bit masking once more we have a value and we have a mask mask is a value that value will apply to another value to do something here before applying this mask we are left shifting this mask to move our specific bits to a corresponding position where you want to set the bit and then we are applying this mask to this value 12 and the process is called bit masking all right guys hope you have understood the concept of bit masking if you have any problem understanding bit masking let us know ask your question in the q a forum i'll be glad to answer thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next one